Testing, testing, testing. Okay. <clears throat> what is up, YouTube fans and PSM community? My name is Sam the Sham, and today we are going to be, well, I'm going to be showing a COD Zombies map I've been working on, and um, I'm just going to be showing you around and, and what it is, and I will be able to have it up for download. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you around. Oh. Uh, I'm lost. <laughs> uh, where do I go? <laughs> How can I get lost in my map? And this is my first live stream too, if you're watching this later. Um, so please bear with me, because I've never done this sort of stuff before, so I'm kind of new to it. Uh, okay, so this is this is my zombies map, and it's not it's not rounds. I didn't know how to how to build it like that. So what I did is you press this button, and it'll it'll spawn first. It'll spawn them here. And then later on, it'll spawn it in other areas of the map. And um, basically, it's like survive as long as possible, where it'll just keep going infinitely until you die. And um, it is based on like COD zombies. So there are perk machines like Juggernaut. And there's also another one in here that I'll show you later. And I also installed a mystery box. And. This design is from FedEx Gaming. Basically, you put in um, your rotten flesh or whatever currency you want, and basically you get your um, you get your prize. It's one hundred percent randomized. And some of the perk machines I made up, like there's this, it looks kind of big and clunky, but it's called Dave's Meat Shack, and this is where you can. Um, basically um, buy meat and buy food to eat because of course you're gonna need food so you can stay alive when you're playing <laughs> it's kind of simple um, I'm gonna show you how these work this um, so right here it's the key to this and so basically you put in if you're 15 here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 it'll funnel it through a hopper it'll check if it's rotten flesh because if you put in anything else it won't work and it'll cycle through and it should turn on okay it didn't turn on Why isn't this working? Uh, let's see. Okay, it doesn't appear to be working right now. There we go. Okay, I probably changed the amount, but... So, you come in here, and they're always open, so whatever area you unlock, it stays open until you die. And this is a little room. And right here we have a turret, and it has infinite ammo, so you flick this lever right here, and it'll just constantly shoot arrows. So that's a cool little feature I decided to add. Let's pick this up. And also, if you come down here, see we have our speed cola here. So we'd pay our five, one, two, three, four, five, and it'll spit out... Um, it will spit out a potion of swiftness. I didn't install that yet, though. So, we'll come back to that later. Down here, I have, like, a little Easter egg room. I, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to use this room for. But I'm probably going to have, like, a little mystery or, like, a little prize you can find down here. And... Let's see... 
Yeah, there's also little places where you can go, where you can kind of hide from the zombies and scope them out. And this was designed by me and my friend, Acaster2. Um, you, should, you should check out his YouTube channel, Acaster Strock. He doesn't post anymore, but some of his stuff is pretty good. Anyway, um, I also have wall weapons, just like in COD Zombies. Um, basically, it works the same as all. You put in the amount, and you get your stone sword. Um, of course, you can you can change this, and you can make it cost more. You can make it cost less. Um, but that's basically the gist of this. Um, the spawners. Let's see. So you push this button, and what this will do is there'll be a minecart sitting here, and it goes on this rail, and it'll just loop around for as long as you can survive. Um, it'll, so here's the spawner, and we put zombie eggs in there, of course I didn't want it in there because I don't want zombies running around. And basically it'll just keep going around, keep spawning more zombies and until you can't handle it anymore and you die. And that's basically how it works. I'm also thinking of adding a couple of boss bosses. I don't know how I'm going to do that though. I have these husks right here and diamond armor and upgraded swords. Um, I'm also interested in adding a pack a punch, but um, I don't know how to wire that, so I wouldn't know. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it here. Um, what else can I show you? Also, to reset it, here, let me show you how to reset it. So, for unlocking areas, when you put in your redstone, it'll activate this block, and it'll keep it on. This is what keeps it on infinite, is this um, redstone signal here. This um, leads to another spawner. So, basically, like the more areas you unlock, the, the more um, zombies are going to spawn. So basically I have this wire running up to this activated right here. And of course if you want to like restart you can put your minecart back here. And to reset it it's really really simple. So you just get the redstone block put it on there and that's it. And as you'll see here the stairs will come up but if we pay our 10 rotten flesh like so. Oops, that was 11. We have it unlocked. And um, you can explore more areas of the map. Unlock new things. Um, that's that. Let me show you how the mystery box works. You put in um, your currency. I made everything for currency in my map rotten flesh. Because... Um, I mean, it's kind of common sense. You're picking up all this rotten flesh, and you have nothing else to do with it, so you can use it for currency. Um, okay, so this right here, this detects how much. Um, it first of all, it has rotten flesh, so it detects if you have rotten flesh. If you don't have rotten flesh, it'll send it to um, these trash chests. I like to call it, and like items that you throw in, like like if you try and pay with like gold or or dirt or any any other item than rotten flesh it won't accept it and it'll just funnel into these chests right over here um, this hopper detects how how much you put in I have it set um, so you have to put in 18 rotten flesh when you put in 18 it'll power this comparator with enough power um, for these for this um, redstone signal right here and basically what these repeaters do um, is it measures um, how much so for instance if you have just this one repeater under one tick delay um, that would cost one item and if you have it on four ticks delay it costs two and then three four five six and so on that's how that works and then this right here is just a little indicator light knowing that your item has appeared in the chest and that's that. Um, same works here, except um, I have these together and they're wired up to this dropper right here. So like, say, 
you're running low on health and you need a piece of steak, boom, you got your piece of steak. Um, if you're in a hurry, you can toss them all in like this, and it'll give you the exact amount that you pay, so that's pretty nifty. And I'm just going to go put this back. Oh, okay. okay um, That's that. I also have little areas right here where you can hop over for bonuses. And I'm going to be adding another perk called Cherry Bomb. And that's just basically a um, splash potion of healing, which will kill the zombies. But here's a Juggernaut. So, hold on. Let me clear this. It's getting a little clunky here. So, you, um, it costs five. So, one, two, three, four, five. We put it in our five rotten flesh. And, oh, we got two that time. And we get Potion of Regeneration, which is basically how Juggernaut works. Um, that's that. Hey, I'm saying um too many times. Alright. Oops. That's, that's basically all there is to showcase. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Um, if you want to see this, um, check out my channel it's called Sam the Sham I will be posting um, I'll be posting a reveal trailer soon and then I'm gonna be posting a video of me actually playing this map so if you want to see me in action playing this map um, go ahead and check out my channel Sam the Sham and that's all I have for this live stream I know it's kind of probably shorter than than usually what live streams last but that's all I got, and it's my first live stream, and I suck at this kind of stuff, so, um, that's that. And, my name is Sam the Sham, um, and I will see you later. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. YouTube fans, PSN community, Sam the Sham, and I am out.